in this tutorial we want to learn how to use the extension function plotter in Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape 1.0. So the first thing you need to do when you want to use the function plotter is to draw a rectangle. If you don't draw a rectangle where you want your whatever function you want to draw to be associated with you you will not get any drawing done so i draw this rectangle and i remove the i go here to remove my fill and then i go for, i select it and then i go for the extend i go to the ex, go to extensions and then i go to render and then i choose function plotter now i want to uh, the x the start x value i use minus 10 the um the end of the x value i give it one and with the y value i do the same minus one to one and i'm not going to use polar coordinates so uncheck it okay and you always write your function here we are going to use the tangent function this if you come here it tells you some of the functions standard python math functions that are available but and then it here tells you how you can use so let's go here i will check clip with rectangle because i want to be in in the rectangle you can also uncheck it in if for example when you draw it you would want to um separate um, the the drawing from the from this axis you will see what i mean later you can either draw the x and the y axis or not draw it let's see when we don't draw it so we just click here and do a preview of this is what you get if you don't draw the x and the y axis so you just get the graph if you want to have the x and the y axis you can um, add it to it add x axis endpoints this when you add this to it it will draw some lines here which means that you can also color this whole uh, area here so it will give it a fill here so um, we I will draw another function and we will use that but for now let's continue with this because we have to do other things with it so we do apply and then we close this for the time being now you if you see this thing here you if you can maybe you want to color only the graph that you drew but you don't want to color this um, you want to leave it this one and this one the x and the y coordinates or the yes you want to leave them a different color than the graph itself you see if you select this and then you try to color it you go to shift and let's try to color you see it colors everything but that's not what you want so if you want to color only this one what you have to do is that you have to break this apart so you go to path and then you go to where is break apart now when you do that unfortunately the thing that is not extends and doesn't bound go exactly in the bounding box that you did so one way to solve or get around this is to either if you prefer to extend these uh, uh, the y and the x coordinates by going to shift control and then just pulling them a bit to make them longer if in case that is not what you want but you want to rather reduce this one you can i i think you can um this can be reduced but if not you can also cut it but you can either reduce it by this by going to shift control and pressing and reducing it back again to the size that you want if you don't want to reduce it another way is to for you to cut it you, you can i show you how to cut it but i will just reduce it but just for you to know 
for you to cut it you just bring a rectangle here and then you with this and then you select the, the, with this selected you go to shift and select this and you go to path and then you go to cut path now it's cut you see the bounding boxes there and then you can either go to a, a path break apart so that it's broken apart totally and then you can remove this but as i said you can either do that or just go along and then just select this um sorry just select this and then um reduce it um, oh let's see i want to go very way back yes so that's and then go to shift control and then you can just so that you don't distort the drawing you know you can do like this and then now you can change this one's color because we've oh sorry this is the fill if you it's a stroke so you have to go to shift and select it and, and change the color of this for example now let's look at another function so we draw always you need a rectangle so let's draw a rectangle we remove our our fill and leave the stroke maybe we give this the stroke shift we make it black and then we go in again for extension and then we go to render and then we go to function plotter and then i i would leave this as it is i just want to change the function we we do x x times two that is a linear function and this one i want to add the x axis end point so that you know what i meant by that so we do apply for it to draw it close this you see this is the function here but it did it drew these endpoints but if you want to color so that you can color um this area where it bounds it so you can just go for your selection tool and then you can get color and sorry you have to select it and then you if you color you see you can now color the area where your graph is you can also at the same time if you cannot see what it says as we did um, let me go back again first we do break apart so with all selected i i go to, you go to path and then you do your break apart so that you can color in case you want to color this you go to shift and then you color this whichever color you want and then you can also give it your fill if you want so it, it indicates this and this area more or less and these are coordinates now in case you want to give it put some arrows on your coordinates so let's put you go here and then you you, you go to object fill and stroke and then you go to the, the stroke style and then you come to markers and then you choose this you can choose any arrow you want maybe this for example this will give you this and then we do the same thing for this let's um go here and then we give it um, this arrow and then the same thing you can give this also arrows if you want so we come here and do the same and this we do the same so, so this is how you, you can use the extension function plotter in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much and give me a like please. Thank you. Bye.